Good morning, North and South America. Good afternoon, Europe and Africa. Good evening, Asia. Welcome to the 31st web conference, and this is the opening ceremony. I am Frédéric Laforêt from INSA Lyon. And I'm Raphael Troncy from uh, Eurecom. So the Twitter account for the web conference is at the webconf, and do not hesitate to share your feelings on social media using the, the webconf hashtags. And without further ado, I will pass it over to our dear program chairs, Deepak Agawal from Pinterest, Aristide Jonis from KTH Royal Institute of Technology and Aalto University, and Elena Simper from King's College London. Thank you. Um, and welcome also from, from our side. Um, I'm so happy we reached this point. <laughs> um, it's been uh, quite a journey. Um, I think I speak on behalf of my co-chairs as well, that when we took over, we thought, how hard could it be to do a hybrid event? We've been doing it um, more or less in 2020. Other people have done it before us. Um, here we are more than 12 months later um, with the program um, in place across um, 11 um, research tracks. Um, in this list, you will find um, much loved topics in this community, um, as well as some newer topics to, to, to reflect um, where the community is going uh, and the role of the web um, in, in light of, of, of current challenges the world is facing. Um, these research tracks have been expertly managed by, um, I think, 25 um, track chairs, if I remember correctly. Um, so many thanks to them. It's been an absolute pleasure to work with you. Um, some of these tracks attract a huge number of submissions. Um, they could be uh, considered conferences in, in, in their own right. So as you see here on, on the slide, um, we've uh, managed somehow to break the record again. So um, this conference has seen an increased number in, in uh, submissions in the research tracks. And then we see similar trends across the whole the whole program. Um, more than 1,800 submissions in, in 2022. Um, and, and like I was saying, some of the tracks, for instance, the one on social networking or, or, or user modeling and, 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 and web mining attracted between 200 and, and, and almost 350 submissions. Um, but we have seen a very um, interesting uh, range of submissions across all tracks, um, despite the fact that some of them are perhaps more boutique than others. Um, in case anyone's wondering what that C COI track is with six submissions, um, that is just to say that we have a very well-defined conflict of interest policy where track chairs um, were allowed to submit to the research tracks, but uh, this was handled completely uh, separately in a ring-fenced installation by us, the program chairs. If we would move to the next slide. Um, so um, we see a similar sort of distribution when we look at the papers accepted across all tracks. So from those 1822 submissions, um, we accepted um, at the end of a multi-stage rigorous process, uh, 323 papers, uh, which corresponds across the tracks to an acceptance rate of 17 um, percent. Um, if we move to the next slide, um, I can tell you a little bit more about the review process, um, which really took a large village. So 
1,295 PC members, plus almost 1,000 additional reviewers, plus 223 senior program committee members, and the 25 track chairs. Um, we discussed all papers at various stages. Each decision involved between nine and 11 people. Um, that means three to four reviewers and then a senior program committee member whose role was, wasn't to merely summarize the discussion, though that was part of the process as well, but also to um, express an experienced opinion on the research that was um, uh, being proposed. Um, the track chairs were extensively involved in, in the final decisions and provided recommendations to us, the three program chairs, in an intensive but rewarding two days online meeting early January, where we have looked at each um, individual paper we spent um, quite a bit of time discussing various aspects of um, the papers we accept, including um, their, their potential impact and relevance to, to, to this community, to web research. And as I was saying earlier, we've accepted 323 of them. Um, from these, 24 papers were shepherded papers. So these were papers where the track chairs and us as program chairs felt um, that there is a lot of potential and we would like to put in um, this um, extra effort to guide the um, authors to um, work through a number of slightly more substantial changes um, to um, bring the papers at a level um, that is on par uh, with the conference um, at, at, at this um, standard of scientific excellence. And we've also recommended some papers uh, for the industry track. Thank you. We could go to the next slide now. Um, so in terms of topics, I'm personally not a big fan of, of word clouds, but time and time again, I am in the situation where I have to give someone a summary of, of what the papers are about, um, and, and I resort to them. So this is a um, rudimentary word cloud I have produced myself um, based on the titles of the accepted papers. Um, and while it may look like we're a graph learning conference possibly applied <laughs> to <laughs> recommend the scenarios, um, that's not actually the case. Um, so if you um, spend the time and, and um, uh, go to detail and zoom into the cloud, you will see that there's quite a few uh, fundamental concepts of um, web technologies, web applications, web society. They undoubtedly, um, machine learning techniques play an increasing role, not just in the context of the web, but, but everywhere else. Um, if we move to the next slide, um, here we um, just want at this point to um, present the best paper candidates. <laughs> Um, they've been selected according to a process that we will um, detail on in the closing ceremony when from among um, these different papers, we will have the pleasure to um, make some of these researchers very, very happy. But at this stage, we just wanted to put the word out there and say congratulations um, to all these amazing, inspiring researchers and their work for um, being shortlisted for these prestigious awards. More to come in the closing ceremony. And that was all from us. Thank you. And thank you again to um, the several thousands of people who helped us um, get this far. We hope you um, enjoy the program. Thank you, Elena. Thank you very much, Elena. Sorry. Um, so now we're going to make a program overview about uh, all the remaining stuff of the program. There are so many things you will see. First, we have three special tracks. The first one, History of the Web, he is chaired by Dame Wendy Hall and Luc Mario. The second one is sports and online gaming. 
has been chaired by Casper Hartfeld and Maggie Saif and Sarah Elsna. And Web for Good Faith has been chaired by Ricardo Basis Yetz and Chiara Renzo and Gina Matthews. We thank all of these a lot, and you will see their tracks today, tomorrow, and on Friday. Then we also have five alternate tracks, Industry, by Petra Selmer and Joshua Schinever. Um, this track is, uh, has happened in uh, some past uh, events of the web conference and arrive again this, uh, this year. We also have a PhD symposium that has been chaired by Elena Demidova and Hala Skafmoli. Poster and Demo uh, have uh, three sessions. The, it has been chaired by Annalisa Gentile, Pasquale Lizena. The journal track in the new track of this year, uh, it is chaired by Ryan White, who is the T-Web um, responsible at ACM, and he has made a selection of papers of uh, transactions of the web, and they are presented in the conference in the research tracks. Uh, also, we have the traditional web developer and W3C uh, track, uh, chaired by Dominique hazel Massieu and Thomas Steiner. We also have 21 workshops that happened on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, they have been selected among 26 submissions. Uh, this has been chaired by Natalie Hernandez and Preslav Nakov. And also 20 tutorials that also happened on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, they have been chosen among 28 submissions and it has been uh, chaired by Senjuti Basuroy and Ricardo Tomassini. Thanks, uh, Frédéric. Um, in addition to um, this um, and to complete this scientific program, we had the great pleasure to welcome three amazing keynote speakers. The first one starting um, this afternoon um, at, uh, at 5 CET uh, will be uh, Prabhakar uh, Raganavan uh, from Google. Uh, we'll talk about search engine from the lab to the engin engine room and back. Tomorrow, we will have the pleasure to uh, welcome Virginia Dignum from Umea University. We'll talk about responsible AI from principle to action. And on Friday, we'll have the pleasure to welcome uh, Jamie Teven from Microsoft. We'll also talk about how the web will shape the hybrid work era, which was so crucial during this COVID pandemic. In addition to those keynote talk, we had also the pleasure to welcome four sponsor talk, thanks to our, our platinum sponsors. Those talks happen also in plenary sessions from Monday to Thursday, uh, generally scheduled in the afternoon, except today where um, uh, Merwan Deba from TII talk this morning. On Monday, we could uh, hear Andrew Zai from Pinterest. Yesterday, we hear Bogdan Arintescu and Scott Meyer from LinkedIn. And tomorrow, you will have the pleasure to hear and listen Steve Jarrett from Orange Innovation. Finally, we have a number of side events uh, that we encourage you to participate. The job fair has already started this morning and will continue just after this opening ceremony. This is an occasion on Gavit Town to speed date uh, between um, job uh, seekers and, and job uh, providers. All our sponsors have booth and uh, have a lot of job advertisement for you, so do not hesitate to um, um, browse the job fairs and see what can interest you. In addition to that, we will have a near C funding opportunities session later in the program, where um, the European uh, Union Commission is providing information for researchers all over the world, not only the EU researchers. We can benefit from um, individual grants, um, so if you would like to hear more about those opportunities, join this session. I would like to remind you that tomorrow we will have a town hall meeting where we will uh, keep discussing what Elena has started to talk about, what, what does it mean to do web research? And we have prepared for you um, a, a survey and some results that we hope would trigger interesting and lively discussions of where this community is heading to. Finally, um, on Monday and Tuesday, we had the pleasure to also welcome the web for all um, associated conference, which is a tradition for the WebConf to have this two days conference, um, which is now over. 
Um, and on Friday, we invite you to attend the closing ceremony where we will have, of course, the best paper awards, the best reviewer awards, and you will have the pleasure to discover where next year edition will take place. Uh, so, continuing now about the team that has made uh, this uh, event possible. First, on the proceedings, we have two volumes, as usual, a main volume, which contains research tracks, special tracks, keynote abstracts, and makes more than 3,800 pages, and a companion volume, including alternate tracks, most of the workshops and uh, contains more than 1,400 uh, pages. Uh, it is in open access. All papers are both in PDF and HTML5. You have here the links to get there. And we want to thank a lot Lionel Medini and Ivan Herman who worked hard on these proceedings in collaboration with ACM and Sheridan, of course. <laughs> Okay, on the virtual platform, as we are an online event, we have two chairs on that. We have Ying Tong Du, who has worked a lot, and we thank him so much on working on the Hoover and Zoom in the Hood system platform, where we are listening to us now. Uh, you have all the scientific sessions there, the keynote talks, the sponsor talks, and the ceremonies. And also on the Gather Town, you have poster and demo session, job fair, and you can meet their uh, sponsors, they have their booths. You can go there during the job fair and all during uh, the day. Um, don't hesitate to get there to socialize during all the breaks. It's open day and night for the whole week, so you can even go anytime. And you have a surprise in some telescopes, so go and get there and you will enjoy. Uh, so on the gather, Town. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we have to thank Pierre-Antoine Champin, who has uh, set up all the environment. We also have today, uh, on this year, a di diversity, equity, and inclusion program. This is uh, something that is included in the ACM policy. And on this program, we waive entirely all the fees, the entire fees of the whole week for the people who have been uh, agreed to enter this program. The process for agreeing for them to enter that is that we have asked candidates to motivate their application, explain why they are uh, uh, in this kind of uh, question of diversity, equity, or inclusion. And we followed the GDPR compliant process, of course. Uh, we made two calls, a first call for authors during March and a second call for non-authors during April. And this second call was specially targeted to Global South people who want to attend the conference. Uh, in total, we have 23 authors who enter this program and three non-authors. Uh, this uh, program has been partially supported by a donation from Google. We also want to thank... Previous slide, please. No, no. Oh, no, this one, okay. Uh, so we also had a sponsor sponsorship chairs, of course, of three people from all the, ca the continents, Yi Shang, Lion, Lewin Eitan, and Juan Sequeta. They made an amazing work on that. And as you can see, all uh, the uh, logos we have here, we have a lot of sponsors this year, and we are very happy about that. Thanks to all of our sponsors. The local organization committee does not stop there. We also have these, uh, all these people here, Laurent Fleury for the finance, Luc Mario for the website, Coralie Grégoire as the project manager and doing quite everything for <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yoel Marie for the liaison with the IW32, Sébastien, Sébastien Forger and Mark Schuller for the volunteers' chairs. And we want to see our, uh, also to thank our 35 volunteers who help you in uh, the Zoom sessions and all the stuff. 
And some final figures here. Um, as you can see, we have a very rich and dense scientific program. We have counted more than 215 sessions. So thanks a lot for all those session chairs that are <laughs> doing uh, and controlling those sessions. That represents more than 320 hours of scientific content, um, running in up to 20 parallel Zoom sessions. And all of this has been video recorded. So what we, will prom what we have promised what we will do is that we will post edit those videos after the conference and, um, and make this available on the future official ACM SIGWeb YouTube channel so that it will be open and available for anybody on Earth who can have access to YouTube. We also observed that um, this is a vibrant community. Um, we had a lot of registrations, including a lot of last minute registrations. We are counting more than 1,200 um, attendees at the moment. Uh, we would like also to thank everybody who is following us on social media. Uh, just on Twitter over the last year, we, g we gained 20% of new followers. On LinkedIn, we double um, the number of subscribers to our social media account. And um, just to um, reflect on what does it mean to organize the WebConf without scaring the future organizers, um, I would like, and Frederick as well, thank the entire um, local organizing committee. We have just made a quick count yesterday that amounts to around uh, 36,000 Slack messages exchanged between us and um, almost 33,000 emails. Um, we haven't read all of them, a large portion of them are automatic email from easy chairs, but still, this is quite a lot of things to uh, handle. 